Bearded Rich here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Brigade. I just picked this up the other day from Dixon Gunworks. This is a Brigade 9mm AR style pistol. Just picked it up, uh, threw some stuff on it. It's a pretty cool little gun. So it's essentially just an AR but a 9mm. So that means all of your AR accessories will fit this for the most part. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. So I pretty much built this entire gun out of parts I had laying around. So we're going to side it in. I'm out here in my little shoot house. As you can see, I don't think I've ever filmed from here before. So this is my shoot house. If you follow me on Instagram, I take pictures from here all the time of guns I'm sighting in and stuff like that. So we're out here. I got my bog tripod right here. And we're going to sight this thing in at about 25 yards. And then we're going to take it out and do some mag dump, stuff like that. And we'll talk about it. But let's get it sighted in. So if you guys don't have one of these bog tripods, let me show you guys. They are super sweet. I highly recommend them uh, for hunting, sighting them in, whatever. They're really great. I've used this thing a lot to, uh, lately to sighting guns. I used to use this little lead sled back here that you guys can kind of see in the background. And I never really had luck out of it with magazine fed guns like ARs and stuff like that, which is primarily what I use. Because you just can't get the gun seated, so it's a pain in the butt. So I picked this thing up, and I love it. So a lot of guys use these for hunting, precision shooting, stuff like that. But I find for sighting in guns, you can't beat it. So let's sight this thing in. Get my ears in. And the optic I got on here is just a Trigicon MRO. Uh, nothing fancy. It's like a $400 optic. Um, on a LaRue mount, quick detach mount, Magpul flip-up sights, K2 grip like on all my guns. And I have a uh, SB Tactical Brace on here. So that's really about all I've done to the gun so far. But... Enough talking, let's sight this thing in so we can get shooting it. And it takes clock mags, so that's neat. See what we got. So you guys aren't going to believe this, but that's a pretty good group for the first shots of this gun. So I'm going to take you down there. And we're going to show it and then take a look at it. All right, guys. So as you just saw, it was my very first shots through the gun, and this is pretty impressive. I got to show you guys that. That's not too bad. My point of aim was right here, dead smack in the center. Obviously, a little bit spread. That little flyer was me, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, a little bit to the left, maybe a click to the left, see what happens with that. But other than that, I'm really impressed with that group for a gun that I literally just threw an optic on and first rounds through it. So we're gonna go back in the shoot house. I'll do a click left and shoot it and see what happens. I'm not gonna bring you guys along for that, but then I'll load up some mags and we'll go down here to the range and do some mag dumps and talk about it some more. So as you guys saw at 25 yards, this thing's pretty accurate right out of the box, which is never happens when you first the one optic on a firearm so i think it was just luck of the draw with this one um i did adjust it a little bit to the left just to make sure it was dead on so now at 25 yards i can pretty much stack holes 50 yards i can get a group about the size of my fist at about 50 yards so i mean that's that's perfect for this gun and, and kind of the capability of it i think i can hit 100 yard steel with it but it's not super consistent and the grouping is is pretty pretty wide on it um so Brigade 9mm AR pistol. It's essentially a standard AR-15 styled gun. Uh, the rail is an AR-15 rail. It looks like a key mod rail, but this is a um, kind of proprietary rail that can accept key mod or M-lock. I can't remember exactly what they call it. They have a name for it though, but you can fit M-lock and key mod accessories on it, which is really nice. So you're not just stuck to one. If you have accessories for any of your other ARs that might be key mod or M-lock, whatever, you can throw it on this. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Magpul inbus sights, I just had them laying around. Same thing with the MRO, I just had it laying around, so I decided to throw it on here. K2 grip, 
consistency, like all my guns and SP Tactical Brace. And I do have a BCM charging handle in here as well. Um, again, it's standard AR-15 parts minus the bolt carrier group and the barrel. Everything else is very standard. Uh, the trigger, I'm gonna put in an AIM surplus trigger pack in this. I just got a Geisling in from my other Daniel, so when I throw it in, I'm gonna swap out the AIM trigger pack. I'm gonna throw that in here. Because the mil-spec trigger, I'm not a big fan of mil-spec triggers. They're real heavy. And this one's no exception. This is like a, it feels like a five and a half, six pound trigger, which it's not bad. It works, but it's just heavy and I, I'm not a big fan of them. The fit and, fit and finish on it's pretty good. Like I said, it's, it's a standard AR-15, essentially just shoots nine millimeter. So we're going to throw some mags in it and we're going to shoot a little bit. Now, I recorded earlier uh, in the day and the recording got messed up, so I didn't get a capture at all. But... I'll try to throw in some of the footage of me shooting this earlier. I did have some malfunctions. Um, I had four either light primer strikes or no primer strike at all on the on the on a four different rounds so it didn't even strike the primer on that one so that had a light primer strike another light primer strike another light primer strike um, so I'll try to throw that in here as well but I'm gonna dump some more mags out it and see how it does. Like I said, the recording got messed up a little bit, so we're gonna shoot some more. But overall, that's the gun. I have some mags loaded up. So the, a mag that comes with it is an ETS mag. I've never messed with these mags before. I just, I've seen a lot of guys run them and stuff like that. And I'm sure they're reliable, but I decided to pick a few up. I got some 32 rounders. And I got a few of the 40 round sticks. So we're going to load these up and try these out. All right. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm shooting at about 25 yards right now, 20, 25 yards. I'm not too far from the target, but it should be plenty for this gun. All right, red dots on. All right, let's shoot some. So it might have been the ammo. Those two mags ran flawlessly, as you just saw. So we're going to dump through these last couple. Just kind of see what it does. But overall, I recommend the gun. We're going to get to these two mags. I mean, it could have just been the ammo with those four rounds that messed up. Because as you just saw through the, what was that, 40, almost 80 rounds right there. No issues. So let's finish out these mags and see if we have any more issues. guys there it is so i'm gonna chalk that up to the ammo because the thing just ran flawlessly with that ammo that went through it got pretty warm so i'm just gonna chalk it up to those four rounds just being junk rounds i mean they were 
got some Seller and Balot, and that was a light primer strike. Another Seller and Balot light primer strike. A Norma light primer strike. And another Norma. So I'm going to chalk it up to the ammo because that's pretty consistent. That's two for each. So those might have just been my four COVID rounds for the day. But overall, guys, I like the gun a lot. It's a cool little setup. I'm probably going to do some more changes to this. Obviously, a sling. It doesn't have a sling on it, as you can see. I'm going to throw my uh, BCM angled grip on there that you know <laughs> I throw on all my guns, so that's going to be on there. And I'm going to do a light on it. I'm going to look for a small light, kind of like on my PC charger. I don't know if I'm going to run that Crimson Trace or not on it, but I'm going to throw a small light on this. Because if this thing continues to run reliably for me, I'm probably going to make this my bedside gun. So currently I got a Glock 19 that sits in my nightstand, but I might do this. That way I have a little bit more capability, um, a little bit more bigger mag I can carry and a little bit more stable than just carrying a Glock 19 around the house. But we might switch to this. We'll see. But overall, guys, that's the gun. I like it. I recommend it now. I think that was the ammo. So if you guys are looking for one, Brigade 9mm, this is the BMF9. So cool little gun. I highly recommend it, guys. Thanks again for all the likes. Thanks for all the subs. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet, swing on over there to Instagram and follow me. I post pictures of guns I'm picking up, you know, life out here on the farm, me running the tractor, random stuff like that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, head on over there. Instagram is also where I'm going to be announcing uh, the giveaway winners when I do another giveaway, which will be at 500 subscribers. I'm giving away a Streamlight TLR1. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys for just to thank you for subscribing to the channel. So guys, you've been crushing it lately. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Stick around, we got a lot of good guns coming up. I teased on Instagram another gun coming up that I'm gonna be reviewing, and that's my SIG 716i 308. So stay tuned for that, that'll be coming up. Guys, thanks again. Thanks for the likes, thanks for all the subs, and I'll see you at the range.